Right, it is Sunday morning, and due to the response from the first video, we are back in for a second fuel test. Now, the first fuel test, as you will have seen in the video, if you've already watched it, so I would suggest going to watch it before I spoil it for you, indicated that we did actually get a full five liters of fuel. And like I said, we're not penny pinching here. I want to see a clear difference in the volume of fuel that we are being sold. So we move on to the second garage. The second garage in question is a shell garage, which is just down the road. So it'll be the same test as we did in the first video. Just to show, there is absolutely nothing in here. We are gonna come over to the scales and I'm gonna tear the scales and we're gonna weigh the container and we were getting between, what was we getting? 395, 394 on the scales. Yeah, we even wrote it on the canister, but like I said, we're not penny pinching. I want to see a clear division in terms of the volume of the fuel that's expensed. So. Let's head off to the shell garage. Same thing again, we'll record going into the garage. There'll be no phones present during this test. I'll be on the Ray-Bans, the wife will be on the, on the uh, camera itself. And let's do the same fuel, E10, five liters, come back here. It's around about 10, 11 degrees in here. So by the time we get the fuel out, they reckon 15 degrees, we'll quickly check it. but. It's gonna be there or thereabouts, but like I said, we're not penny pinching. I wanna see a clear division so we can call it out for what it is, not within an acceptable tolerance of a few mil. So, let's get down to the shell people. Right, so we are off to the shell garage in Sittingbourne. We are just on our way down now. We have got the Ray-Bans on. We, the wife has got the, the gimbal camera, so there'll be no phones used while we are recording this footage. Really important people, do not use your phones. Not sure what we're gonna find. The first test was uh, pretty much spot on, so it would be nice if I could bring everybody the results as they're all five liters everywhere we go. But it does seem in the comments below that there is a massive divide between people who feel that you do get five liters and people that have been massively shortchanged. So I just wanna bring the results as they are. Um, like I say, I've got no affiliation with any of these garages, but it's just what everyone keeps asking me to do. Can you check the fuel? Can you check the fuel? Can you check the fuel? So we are just coming up to the Shell garage. And then, in fact, the funny thing is, we've actually just passed three petrol garages to get to this one. But the name that keeps coming up more and more and more is um, a particular garage, which we are gonna quickly go and check. And then, yeah, we'll film going in and let's see what we've got. So we are on the Ray-Bans and we are just coming down to the garage. Obviously I've got a microphone strapped to my jumper, which is not ideal. I can see clearly on here that we are 135.9. The garage that we checked yesterday, which was the Asda garage, was 134.9. So we're a penny a litre difference, but we're not gonna split hairs. We need to go into a pump where I can do what I've got. Yeah, look at this. Perfect. So we are gonna go there. She's already staring at me. All right. Let's grab the fuel can. Luckily for me, we have got the pump being calibrated. As you can see there, how mad is that? I've got to show you this, people. So this is the calibration jug that everyone is talking about. Can you see that? where they pour into a jug to calibrate it. Let's get the can out. I'll do this test one more time to show you that it's completely empty. They are calibrating these, so this should be an absolute perfect test. Can you see the calibration jug down there? Where can I get one of them from? But we digress. We have got 135.9. We are going to be using E10 fuel. There is no minimum quantity on here and it doesn't say about what jugs you can or can't use right there we 
go. And just for the sake of the video, look, happy everyone. And we're going to put that back. And then what we're going to do, I'll show you me putting that back on. Sealing it, good. Let's just put that on the ground and just see how that looks compared to the five litres. Uh, probably about the same as what we had with the Asda. So, let's go and pay for this. So just to confirm people, six pound 80, five litres dispense, pump number three. Let's go and pay for our fuel. These are the people who look like they're doing the calibration work. Right, let's go and pay. Right, people, just so you can see, I've had to fold it this way because of my card details that are on here. But you can clearly see on here that it was £1.35.9. We dispensed five litres, £6.80. So let's get this back to the workshop and let's see what we've got. Right, so we are back from the fuel garage with our fuel sample. So let me just quickly see. I know we had last time when we put it on here, it looked quite a lot lower on here, which to be fair, once it stabilizes itself, it probably will be under, but then so was the test from yesterday. What will be interesting to see, once we tear it on here, we had 4.064 of total weight, including the container. Obviously we'll have to minus the container to give us an idea of what the true weight is of the fuel is in here. Just to give you an idea, are you happy that that's stabilized at 4.59 kilos? Yeah? So just for the people at home, before we put it into this jug, let's just quickly get a reference temperature of the fuel. Right, can you see this? Are you ready? Eleven point six degrees, and that really corresponds with the sort of eleven degrees, ten, eleven degrees that we've got on here. So, in terms of fuel testing, they test it at fifteen degrees. We're about three degrees different from what it should be from the pump. And to be fair, when I actually checked this at the pump, it was actually showing thirteen point six when it came out the pump. So we are going to tear the scales. We are going to put the jug on so you know it's empty. It should be around about 371, 371, 72, but we're going to tear it anyway. There we go. So let's tear the scales. Can you see that's gone back to zero? Now, what are we going to find? I think it's going to be fairly accurate to what we had previously. Let's go. Right, coming up to three litres. Well, come and have a look at that. Come and have a look at that, people. Oh, let me get a torch. We are very slightly under what we got with, with Asda, would you say? So let that stabilize. So slightly under where we were, in fact, yeah, we are under, aren't we? Yeah. So we are under what Asda has dispensed, but you can see that clearly, can't you? If you look at it from here, can you see that that is under where we were with Asda, yeah? So yes, whilst it is under what we had at Asda, how much under is it now we can see clearly on a cylinder that size that's a reasonable measurement but we don't know for definite so what we're going to introduce for the next test is a full measuring jug i have had someone message me to say that they do do a five liter measuring jug which is accurate for volume of water. So we will apply that with the next test, but there is no denying that the shell petrol that we were dispensed was less than what Asda was. Now, that doesn't, uh, you know, 
The quality could be completely different, but we're not asking about quality in this test. We are asking about quantity, and that is what the test is for. So we're gonna get this cleared up. We are moving on to the third garage. Are we gonna see any difference? Don't forget people, I'm doing what you're asking me to do. So in return, all I ask is that you like share and subscribe. I'm doing this off my own back. We're here on Sunday, it's freezing cold, but I'm doing it anyway. Also as well, if you've got any suspicions of any local garage to us here in Newington, Kent, that you feel you want me to test, drop a comment in the section below. Let me go and visit them.